Time for a shrimp update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with a shrimp update for June of 2018. Just going to start off up in the office tanks here and show you these, but before I do that I want to let you know that I've got a website that's going to be going live in the next uh, couple of weeks, AquaticSupportSystems.com, and a lot of you know that I've sold Southern Delight fish food now for the last year um, since I uh, um, kind of became the owner of Aquatic Support Systems. And uh, I've added now to that, I've got planted tank supplies and I've also got shrimp foods and, and um, that type of thing, moss ledges, stuff like that. I'll be carrying MK Breed, Low Keys, Glass Gardens, Salty Shrimp, and some others to follow. Um, also the Neeloc G Thrive line of all-in-one fertilizers and a couple other things. So um, check that out, and if you go over onto that website right now, it's not live yet, but there's a spot where you can enter in your email. You enter in your email, and once we do go live, you'll get a coupon sent out to you, a coupon code um, for a pretty good discount off of products. So keep that in mind, and uh, go check that out, get on the email list. All right, what I'm showing you first of all here are the uh, blue bolts in the office upstairs. Still struggling with this tank, but things are getting better. Um, no breeding. I added some shrimp, but I've lost some shrimp. But I'm just continuing to power on with this and hopefully uh, get this tank working and uh, get a good colony going in here at some point. I had some water parameter issues that I'm addressing, um, and uh, hopefully that'll that'll kind of correct the problem. Um, bunch of. Uh, supplies right there that I was mentioning before various brands and whatnot um, over here is the uh, wine red slash ruby red tank and uh, there's uh, there was a little bit of breeding there was a few babies in here recently I'm addressing the same water parameter issues in this tank as I was in the blue bolt tank that we just talked about so um, I'm getting that under control and hopefully things start to take off in this tank. This is a 90 gallon planted tank that I'm still working out some Blackbeard algae issues as you can see but uh, treating it with uh, hydrogen peroxide and uh, we're starting to get it under control. But the reason I'm showing this tank is because that's where I've put all my cherries and fire reds now. You can see them in different spots. Uh, once that colony really grows, it's going to look really cool having them all climb around on the kind of mountain structure here, rocky structure, whatever you want to call it, and go from there. So, And this little five gallon over here, I've got some dwarf crays in here, and uh, they're doing all right. Um, some better than others. One on the back wall. The back wall of algae, which is fine. This is kind of the big guy over here, right next to that piece of PVC. All right, we'll go downstairs and take a look at that. All right, so starting off here, we've got the super crystal reds doing pretty good. Haven't had any breeding lately in this tank, but uh, they're doing good overall. Down below. Is the uh, mixed Taiwan B tank. Got everything from blue bolts to Red Bolts, Shadow Pandas, Pandas, um, BKK. Um, a lot of these ones that look just white are, are coming from the Red Bolts. I gotta call those out of there. Throw them over into my uh, white slash golden bee tank. But uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good. A lot of breeding. 
And here we've got the, uh, the low grade A through S grade Crystal Reds. As always, this colony just continues to produce and does well. A little low right now, but um, let me know if you're looking for blue bolts uh, out of that Taiwan B tank. I've got quite a bit of uh, extras in there. And then these uh, A through S grade Crystal Reds I've always got for sale, as well as my uh, S. SS through SSS grade, which I'll show you in a minute. These are the, this is the Pinto tank, the black Pinto. There's Michelings in here as well that I got to call out. But uh, just kind of letting this colony try to take off before I do a lot of calling and uh, hoping more for numbers than quality at this point, and then we'll focus on quality, if that makes sense. But yeah, things are going pretty good there. And these are the uh, the higher grade crystal reds. Got a lot of breeding going on in here, so if you're looking for some of these, uh, let me know. My email will be in the uh, description below um, if you're looking to purchase anything, as well as any of the products that I listed before. If you're looking to get some before the website goes live, I've got them for sale already. Um, PRLs doing well is also um, yeah, not much to say about that I guess we'll come over here and uh, we'll take a look at the blue dream that colony has just been booming like crazy lately which is good um, I've got these available if you're looking for some I wouldn't call them the highest grade blue dreams, but they're they're decent, uh, decent looking blue dream for sure. Uh, over here is the uh, what uh, at one point was called Savage Reds. Um, they're a combination of cherries, like fire red grade, and uh, Bloody Marys. Um, I definitely need to start doing some calling here, but again, I've been focusing more on numbers with this and haven't had a ton of time. But um, just because it took me so long to get this colony to breed, I was down to just a handful left, but now they're all there's babies all over the place up on these filters and everything. Um, so hopefully we can start doing some good work on this colony. <laughs> I've got another uh, tank with uh, Dwarf Craze in it, as you can see a few of them here. There's a stray um, Blue Dream. I used to have, uh, this is kind of a second Blue Dream tank, and uh, I guess I didn't get him out. Um, Red Pinto's doing real well lately. Um, I've increased numbers there. Um, there's been some good breeding going on, and I've got some nice juvie size now. Um, a lot of people have been asking me if I've got these available, and unfortunately I don't. I really want to get this colony going real well first. It's a mixture of spotted heads and uh, bellies and zebras and everything like that. So there's actually a couple that have kind of turned out solid red almost, as you can see in there. I don't know what you'd classify those as, but uh, I like them. Here's the uh, white slash golden bee tank. Um, it's doing decent, but for some reason breeding hasn't been going as well as it was at one point. As you can see, the numbers aren't quite as big as they once were, but we'll get that uh, bounce back and go from there. Alright, this is uh, something new. I finally uh, went ahead and got uh, a handful of Bloody Marys, and uh, they're doing pretty well. Need a little calling, though. Um, I didn't notice a buried one, but I already had babies since I got these, and I've only had them like a month, so that's nice. Um, Crystal Blacks are doing absolutely awesome, which is so rewarding for me because I many, many months, even years, I just could not get these guys to breed for my life, and now they're just doing really well, as you can see. I've got these available if you're looking for some Crystal Blacks as well. Hit me up. 
Also the whites I, I'm willing to sell also. And then these guys I've got available as well. The only things, I'm not selling any of the red ones in here, but any of the other colors. These are mixed tie bees. Um, I don't know if you even call them tie bees at this point. Um, that's what they once were. I had uh, started with a PRL and a Royal Blue Tiger. Um, threw a few other tigers in there once the first line of tie bees kicked out. And uh, have just kind of let things breed over time. So that's really it for this month's uh, shrimp tour. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you're interested in any of the products I mentioned or shrimp, let me know as well. And like I said at the beginning, if you go over to AquaticSupportSystems.com, enter in your email on the coming soon page uh, for my website. You'll get notified, one number one, when it goes live, and number two, you'll get a coupon code emailed to you for discounts on all the products that I'll be selling. Until next time, I appreciate everybody that watches these videos and subscribes. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for updates on all my shrimp tanks, my fish tanks, and my reef tanks. Thanks a lot for watching.